343 just dropped the Cyber Showdown 3 trailer, which brought us some information about what's coming with the next update, confirming a lot of the leaks that we saw coming for this update, as well as some new information that we were not expecting. And this trailer brings more concerns about the monetization of Halo Infinite moving forward. So if you want to know everything, make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Let's start off with the event pass. It is going to be another free 20 tiers for you to unlock all the great stuff, though it will be time limited unless you pay into it to make it a permanent pass. So first off, we get a chance to see all the stuff that's coming with this. Very similar that we have with the Spirit of Fire Operation Pass, where the first half of it is really just kind of like emblems and XP boosts and maybe like a charm here, some coatings and things like that. But it's not until level 12 until you get to actually get to earn that armor piece that comes with this Operation Pass. And all of this will be for the Chimera core which don't forget that all the helmets and shoulder pads will be cross core as well for the premium option you do get a cool new coating which doesn't really incite me too much to really buy into it not nearly as much as the spirit of fire one with the assault rifle model this is just a regular coating so nothing too crazy right there so this event does run from march 5th until april 2nd from the information that we've seen so far and that we reported on the channel that the yapping will happen soon after the cyber showdown operation we saw the new arena map elevation being revealed again we reported on this map months ago it was one of those early leaks to get a chance to see what's coming into the game this does seem very interesting there's one aspect of the trailer that seemed to have a character float so there might be some low g areas within the map kind of similar to the condemned map that we had back in halo reach and i do believe this is a dev made map as i was looking through all the different canvases within halo infinite this one didn't really seem to match up so it does look to be a dev made map not a forge made map which is kind of a compliment to Forge you have to really look into it to see like wait is this a dev made or a Forge made map it really shows the level of quality Forges are able to create with Halo Infinite's Forge right now. now I'm sure the big thing a lot of people are really excited about with this operation update is that we're getting six new maps when it comes to Husky Raid one of the most popular modes within Halo Infinite again we reported on these maps earlier so if you're not following the channel make sure you subscribe but the new maps of Foundation, Merchants Square, Outlook, Rujaya or Rujaya however you want to pronounce that urban raid as well as pharaoh interesting thing about rujaya is that the map will be coming later in the operation so sometime before the beginning of april so when you launch into the operation remember that there's gonna be five maps available for you to play at launch not six now we touched on this at the beginning of the video but this is what we're actually going to talk about it's the shop it's the monetization and what was really focused on with this trailer and it break down the second percentages of what was playable content showcased within this trailer and what was customization and shop items but you can see that there was a huge emphasis on the chimera core shop items for you to customize your sparring with yes customization has been a major part of the halo franchise since the beginning but the thing is that like it's kind of more of a cherry on top kind of thing not the main course and that's what it really felt like with the cyber showdown is that they're like hey check out all these cool things you can put onto your sparta and not hey check out all these cool things that you can play we had such a fast glimpse of elevation that i'm not really sure if, if it was like a map that has any cool unique aspects to it like yeah that, that tease that looked like of a low g area looks exciting cycling through all the husky raid maps was a decent idea of what the maps are going to be like they're super simple so it's nothing really anything to show off too much there but again a big emphasis on customization and shop items this is going to be probably feeling very similar to the spirit of fire operation where it was a i think hitting xperia worked out the math that almost 90 percent of the customization available for the mark IV armor set for this operation was tied behind monetization. And it's looking to be very similar to the situation as well and likely not to change for the Yapping event coming in April. The most difficult thing for 343 right now when it comes to Halo Infinite would have to be just creating fun, exciting things for you to do in the game. Like we've talked about multiple times on the channel that 343 is pivoting away from Halo Infinite. So most likely right now they're finishing up anything that's in progress right now that's dev made like Elevation and other bits of content but really anything that's going to be brand new or something you can play around with will likely be done through Forge, which me personally, I'm okay with because Forge is such a great tool within Halo Infinite and the community is incredibly talented and very passionate when it comes to their creations that you can really make some interesting things. But honestly, this update really does feel like something that would be fun for maybe like a week and then you kind of just drop it. We have seen various leaks and rumors of extremely popular custom game modes that we've seen within the custom game browser coming into matchmaking for Halo Infinite eventually. That information leaked out about two weeks ago and so we could probably see it coming in maybe 
with the new operation for the happening or some time beyond that. Bringing in modes like Tower Defense, Ultimate, The Forge, Falcons, Night of the Undead, some custom maps for Firefight, as well as some campaign levels recreated within Halo Infinite's Forge to be played through matchmaking. Oh, and uh, the Battle Royale that we talked about earlier on the channel. No, not that Tatanka Battle Royale that we've been talking for years on this channel. That's pretty much dead in the water at this point. I'm talking about the Forge Falcons Battle Royale, which I've played a bunch and it is really good. It's basically the closest we will ever get to having a Battle Royale within Halo Infinite. So this looks to be the near term future plan for Halo Infinite of releasing these operations once a month effectively, give you something to grind for, which I love how the challenges have been updated since Firefight. So the challenges are really kind of negligible. You just need to play the game and you'll unlock things, which is great. That's probably the reason why you see a lack of challenge swaps within the operation pass, because well, the challenges are just literally just play the game. Like I rarely ever use challenge swaps in this game now. Once the update drops, we'll definitely will be doing a live stream on the channel here guys showcase all the new husky raid maps and the new map elevation hopefully there's a dedicated playlist for the stuff hopefully the new maps get weighted heavier within the husky raid playlist because that's been a huge issue with halo infinite where sometimes 343 will add new content into a playlist but then not weight it properly so then you can play for two plus hours and not actually get the content most recent example of that was definitely with the firefight update with those new maps being added in and i played for two plus hours and got like one new map that's like man not that exciting make sure you subscribe to keep up yourself so make sure to subscribe to keep yourself updated. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap like, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.